Hey, good day everybody. It's Lyle the Sash Shaver here. How's everyone today? It's Saturday, February 9th. I know it's been like five or six days since I did a video or haven't been posting on social media. Really, I much apologize. It's been hectic. Uh, work's been crazy. Still dealing with some health issues for myself. Same with my wife. Then, you know, kids bringing colds in. All that crazy stuff. Anywho, I need to get back to this. I do enjoy it a lot. So we're going to do more of a basic shave today. I'm um, using some products for this. I really haven't used these on video. And I do love them. This is a scent. It's probably one of my top scents. I've actually been using this almost all week. It's very affordable soap. And I think, well, we all know it. Razor Rock Triple X. I won't smell the one on the lid. It's great stuff. This is the, what do you call it, the Duro formula. It was supposed to be limited edition when they brought it out. I love this soap. It does have, you can see it hiding in there. It's kind of really worn out. There is tallow in here. I think it might have, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I think it might have been one of the first ones he actually used tallow in was his Duro base. If you don't know Triple X, obviously it's scent is based off Aqua de Parma Colonia. Classic Italian scent. Uh, to me, I basically describe it as a manly floral citrusy scent. Um, I can definitely get citrus in here. A little bit of floral. And I think there's something underlined and it's a little earthy maybe patchouli or something i'll post it up here i should really look that up i never have you know i just know i love the scent so we'll be using that soap today and the matching splash i have my ap shave coat 24 millimeter sinbad soaking no you don't need to soak a synthetic I just do it. Part of my routine. <laughs> Shake it out here. I'm gonna try a new razor today too, guys. Um, I've had this for a long time. So, I'm not sure how this is gonna go. Just one second, I'm gonna pause here for one second. Sorry about that, I realized I forgot to put my do not disturb on my phone. So the razor we're gonna use I'm gonna try Camasori out. I've had this for a long time. Got it in a trade. Um, it was just tossed in from a gentleman who did some trading with me for some clone for some brushes and everything. I've had it honed up, but I haven't shaved with it yet. Um, tried it once before I had it honed, wasn't really super happy. It seemed pretty sharp, um, but I've left it after I got it honed. So I've stropped the hell out of it. Hopefully the edge will be okay and we'll give it a shot. If that goes really badly, I have a backup. Not my straight today. If it goes badly, we'll back it up with my Gillette Parat and a fresh silver blue blade. I haven't used silver blues in a very long time. And the Parat is quite possibly my favorite vintage uh, DE I have. So to do something also different, I'm going to load right from the puck. Um, been doing it this week with the uh, Duro. I find if I try to scrape it off into the bowl, it comes kind of flaky, doesn't come as nice as some of the other soaps. So, just a damp brush, swirl it up. That's probably way too much of a load already. I'm gonna wet the face here. I do have, uh, last time I shaved was Thursday morning at 6 a.m. It is currently Saturday at basically one. So well over 48 hours of growth here. Uh, there is already some blood here if you guys can see it. Um, my whiskers are very coarse, very tough, and I find them prickly. So right in this area, I find I'm also besides having probably my coarsest beards, I'm also very sensitive to them, and they bug the heck out of me. 
So for last night, being a dummy, I was they're bugging me or pushing me around, and yeah, I kind of was a dumb arse. So, anyways, we're gonna put this proto lather on. There's really no reason in uh, wasting that stuff, right? Let's get going here. So yeah, Razor Rock, I don't use it near as often as I should. Um, I know it's got its haters. I know it's got its fanboys. I'm in the middle. I don't hate it. I'm not a fanboy. It's a great value for starting out. Uh, especially when I first started out, there wasn't much that touched the Razor Rock price point. Especially a Michi. Damn, that stuff's cheap. You get a decent shade with it. I'd have to do a budget shave coming out. Find me some Amici again. Maybe one of my old vintage techs. I can do a shave for under 30 bucks, maybe. Hey, probably quite easily. Just depends what I have for brushes left. I could do that. ADP, Triple X, whatever, Colonia. I love this scent. It's a little weaker than normal right now. You now I've had the cap off this because I've been using it about the last three or four shaves. So, oops. So it's just been sitting drying out outside of my den here, or at my bathroom, I should say, whatever you want to call it. But. I'm having too much fun enjoying this. Definitely one of my all time favorite scents. Um, I really, really seem to like classical cologne scents. You know, Aqua de Palma Colonia, which you can get from Triple X, Razor Rock here, and Piacenza Sterling. Um, there's quite a bit more. Those are the two I've used. Great stuff for both of them. Excellent value on both soaps too. Scent-wise, out of the two of them, I mean, this is always personal, but this slightly wins for me. That's why PHNs have left my den. This was my favorite of the two, and it was my wife's favorite and my daughter's favorite, so cleared away from some other stuff, eh? Look at that. Damn, this stuff just lathers easily. So well. What are some of your guys' favorite classic scents? Like I said, I love the scent of this. I really, someday I have to get myself um, either a sampler of actual ADP Colonia or buy a bottle. Um, obviously, every, everyone loves the dentist, or most everyone does. Scent Sundown by PAA is also another one of my favorites, which is, of course, based on Gillette Sunup. I love that. Uh, Black Bot, another one of my favorites. Uh, another, was that? Black Belt. I can't remember who makes it. Same guys as High Karate. So, anyways, let's give this a shot. Like I said, if it doesn't go too well, we'll switch out. I may even just do one pass with it and switch that. Depends on things are going here.
brighten in the hair again. I haven't done that for a few videos. That's okay. So I'm doing short strokes. Sorry, draw my hand off here. I did watch a couple of videos of guys using this stuff. Everyone seems to recommend short strokes. Damn, that's close off the first pass. Like, holy smokes. So I'm trying to go with the green. Now, if you haven't seen the videos, I can't remember the actual Japanese terms. Sorry, but basically the side, I'll, I'll look them up. I'll try to put them up in here. Side with the writing stays out. This side, always against the face. And as you can tell, hopefully you can tell, different bevels. So. Can you hear my jack wrestle? I'm just gonna pause and which is barking. I'm guessing it's probably a squirrel out the window. Hold on. Back. Sorry guys. Uh, she had to go to the washroom. Guess that is warmed up to minus 23. She decided it was okay to go out. <laughs> Took about 10 minutes though, so I had to rehydrate the lot here, so I'm glad I paused that for you. So I might have to get this edge refreshed. It is a little tuggy, which camera stories aren't supposed to be from what I've been told. I also left it with uh, help being used for too long. But it's removing the hair very well. It's interestingly impressive. I don't know how I'm going to do this because obviously you keep the one side so it's not quite like a straight. Figure this out. Um, here we go, man. So everybody has good plans for the weekend, for the rest of the day here. My wife uh, left town here. She's going up to Saskatoon for the day, for the weekend, for the night to visit some friends. She needed the break. I haven't seen them for a long time. So I'm guessing we'll have the kids coming in, so. One second, guys. Sorry, I needed a hairbrush out of the bathroom. Apologize for all the interruptions, but being a dad slash family man comes first, right? So.
so this is close um, I think of this thing I might take it to uh, chromium oxide and try it again um, I think it's just a hair sharper so it's just an amazing shave See how that first pass came out. You know, that's not bad. Um, I do get closer with my uh, weight and butcher right now. Well, I definitely missed a lot right there. <laughs> um, but the weight and butcher has at a wicked edge on it right now. So I think this needs to be refreshed. I just left it too much. Too long in storage. As you can tell, the duro has good slickness there, left over. I know some people don't like razor up because they don't make it themselves, but you know what? It does a good job. It's got some great scents. Prices are good. I mean, I have some expensive soap. So I have some, a lot of soaps now, not near as much as many of the guys I know. Um, but it still performs well. So if you've got somebody who's trying to get into this hobby, I mean, you can do Arco. It's cheap. Performs well. I hate the postal Arco. I'm on the fence. The scent doesn't bother me. Uh, but you can get a little bit more money and get some really nice sets from these guys. So... Funny enough... Uh, I love this, but I think out of my razor rock soaps, I think I only have two left now, possibly three. I have triple X and Dead Sea, and I'm pretty sure my essential oil of lime one, or essence of lime, whatever it is, is gone. Um, I love triple X. My wife and the girls. Their best scent. They love Dead Sea. And there's so many people that hate that smell. Again, everybody's different, right? So, I'm going to try another pass with this. You can always change it out, right? Eh, I did irritate that. That's okay. I was planning at least. That wasn't from shade, and that's from me being dumb.
person. I'm quite enjoying it though. It's like it's amazing how close that is already. Let's see if I can figure this out. You want to do this. One second, guys. Hold on. Back. Sorry. They have leftover uh, Slurpees from last night. I wonder if they could have them. What the hell, right? Don't tell my wife. I'm not going to get myself there a bit. Angles are a little more difficult to find, that's for sure for me, but we're working on it, right? Um, Taking a little long, guys. Sorry. It's already 23 minutes in, but just learning the count. Sorry. I mean, kind of something different for you guys to see me try and figure out. You know, essentially, my first shave with it. I have tried it once a long time ago. Like I said, and that was a bloodbath. Not bad.
Sorry, guys. I might fast forward through some of this for you. We'll see. See how it feels. It's not bad. It's not BBS, but. We're not done yet. I hate eating food, guys. That's why I love the shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. My wife does really enjoy it when I take a day off and get that scruff. She loves the look, but she doesn't look all prickly when I go to kiss her. I like to hang a towel over here. It'd be a lot easier than going back there every time. I'm just gonna clean the neck up and we're trying to get some grain up here, okay? Interesting way. It's a pretty cool little blade, actually.
trying to use a super light touch here. Figuring out these angles is really screwing me up. It's different. I'm gonna leave that. Um, definitely different than my straight, but some of it still applies, right? So, thankfully for the straight, otherwise I've been screwed. I think coming straight from a DE. Stuck out with this video so far. I'm impressed. It's going to be super long. But I'm enjoying this. It's part of the best part of this hobby to me. It's trying new things out, enjoying the shaves, enjoying new products, enjoying old products. I mean, Triple X. I didn't use it forever until this week. I almost, for, almost forgot I had it. And then uh, Richard C. Otter, um, Coyote Cuts on Instagram. Makes custom brushes. <clears throat> Beautiful stuff. I saw him post another uh, Shave of the Day picture. And I was like, shit, I gotta use that again. So, thanks Richard for reminding me I have it. Here, I'm very worried. Oh boy, it's gonna be a 40-minute video. I'm gonna have to. Sh 
fast forward for some of this for you guys. That's pretty ridiculous. Oh. You know what? I'm not doing anything else with that. I mean, there's a little bit there, a little bit there. But three full passes for my first, my first really trade with the Tamasaur. I mean, like, I tried it before, long, long time ago. I wouldn't even consider what I did. It was brutal. First, second shave. What do you guys want to call this? I don't care. Three full passes. First time with it for sure ever. Um, more than happy with that. That was there. I irritated it. And other than that, I think I got a weeper right there. A bit of a slice, but pretty good. 38 minutes, damn. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to clean up. I'll come right back for the post. Thanks. All right, everyone, I'm back. Quick warm water rinse off. There's a lot of slickness left from the duo formula there. Uh, cool water rinse. I actually ran alum over to clean this up. So I do the whole face. I don't do it too often. And this thing wasn't bad. Way less than I thought it was going to be. So it's fairly smooth. Um, really the places where it's a little rough still jawline. But even that's not bad. A little bit there. I'm very happy actually with that camera story shave. So Get the post going here, drying out a little bit. My daughter came over while I was cleaning up and wanted to show me her uh, her treasure. I have to do a couple minutes of treasure hunting. Oh, feels good. Typical alcohol sting, but nothing past that, man. Just very nice. Oh, I love this scent. Even a cut settled down was just the stuff that I was picking at like a dummy the other night. I'm gonna put a balm on. I don't have a matching balm for this. I gotta get it. I'm just gonna use my Nivea Men Sensitive. It's a clean scent. Not really much there. Um, cold out. I gotta take the kids to birthday parties in that today. So. Just a little extra moisture for the skin here. Oh, it smells great. Still smells beautiful. So, let's see what's left in this brush. There's a little bit left. It's a great scent. Um, you know, I think Razor Rock Triple X deserves a spot in everyone's gun, but that's me. Again, everyone's mileage may vary, right? All right. So, I'm going to do a quick review. This is probably going to be a between a 35 and 45 minute video. When it's all done and edited, it's all right. So if you stuck it out, thank you very much. Quick review. 
Ooh. Razor Rock Triple X. Aqua de Parma Coney Ascent. Duro Formula. Awesome soap, guys. Low cost, performs wicked, and just my favorite take that I've tried so far on this scent, besides the original, which I haven't had the chance yet. Can't imagine smelling much better than this. Post, you saw it, Triple X Splash, then followed by the Nuvia uh, Man Sensitive Balm, Brush, uh, AP Shave Co. It's a full marble handle with a 24 millimeter Sinbad knot. Love it. And the razor, we didn't have to bolt the back up. I made it the whole way through, hence the length of this video. Okay, I'm sorry. Start playing with this some more. It's actually really well. Worked really well. I thought it might need to be sharpened up a bit. Maybe it does. A little bit of tugging on the first pass was two days growth, over two days growth, but not much for irritation. Just took my time and I enjoyed it. So if you guys have used camasaurus, let me know any tips you have. Um, feedback would be awesome. Love to get better with this razor. Same with my straights. I'm always open to everything you guys have to tell me, and I love uh, reading your comments and try to respond to them all. So thanks, everyone, for watching today. I do appreciate your time. If you watch the whole video again, thank you very much. If you don't, hey, watch the tidbits. That's fine, too. Um, just want to say thanks. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch me and see what I talk about and what I use. Your time is appreciated. Your subscriptions are appreciated. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. I know you'll be dad. Have a lot of fun with the girls. Happy shaving, everyone. I'll see you hopefully sooner than five days for another video. Take care.